fished on a dragon scale, and that's what started Dragon Tales. Around the room the dragons flew, but Emmy and Max knew what to do. They climbed on the backs of the dragon friends, now the adventures never Fabuloso! You're here! Hey! Just in time! The race is about to start! Come on! Let's practice our pedaling, Cassie! Our sail cart looks great, Or. Cool! Hi, everybody! Hey, partner! You ready to race? Hola, Lorca! You like the platform? My dad made it for you to stand on. Muy bien, and I have a way to make you más rápido. I'm already fast. See, si. but your hands must get tired pushing the wheels. I've brought something that will help you. What are those? Hand cranks. They'll make it easier for you to turn the wheels faster. Great idea. Let me help you with that. No thanks, I can do it myself. Are you sure? I'd really like to. Got it. <sighs> What's all that stuff you put on our scooter, Wheezy? It's not stuff, Zacky. It's decoration. I think it looks pretty. Pretty weird. Bienvenido a todos. Welcome, everyone, to the Dragonland Road Race. Let's review the rules. Each team must have at least two riders, and each rider must keep at least one foot on the go-kart at all times. Entiende ustedes? Do you understand? Yeah, we're ready, yeah. Ready. Yeah. Bueno, the winners of the race will each receive one of these trophies. But the most important things are to work together and have fun. Buena suerte, good luck. The Dragonland Road Race has begun! Let me give you a hand, Lorca. No thanks, I don't need any help. Huh? No, my foot is! Woohoo! We're in front, Lorca! Que bien! Yeah! 
That way. Are you getting tired, Lorca? No, no, I'm fine. I bet we could go even faster if you'd let me crank the wheels for a while. You didn't need my help before. Now I don't need your help. Huh? No entiendo. When you were putting on the handles, you wouldn't let me help you. That's because I didn't really need any help. I'm good at fixing things. And I'm good at turning the wheels, which is much more important than sticking on handles anyway. Well, without my handles, we'd be way back in the pack. I don't need your handles to go fast. Fine. If you don't need me, then just finish the race by yourself. I'm getting off. Oh, wait! Don't go! We need two riders, remember? We work together in all kinds of weather. We work together in all kinds of weather. Look, everyone's passing us. You don't want to come in last, do you? No. So what are we going to do? <sighs> Maybe Quetzal can help us. Quetzal, ayúdanos. Will you please help us? ¿Qué pasa, niños? Why aren't you racing? Enrique doesn't want to race anymore. No, no, that is not true. I do want to race, but Lorca won't let me help turn the wheels. <sighs> That's because Enrique wouldn't let me help put the handles on my wheelchair. Hmm. Sounds like you're both saying you don't need each other. But we do need each other. We can't be in the race unless we're a team. Es verdad. But being a team means helping each other and letting each other help. How do you think you might try to work together? I'm getting a little tired. I guess you can help turn the wheels for a while. Si. Sí. Gracias. And how about if next time I build something, I'll let you help? Promise? See, sí, I promise. Okay, then. Let's get back in this race. Muy bien, niños. Thanks, Quetzal. See you at the finish line. What's wrong? No wind. I think you two might go farther faster if you work together. Maybe you could use those big cattails to push with. Good idea. And if you both push together, you will be able to go muy rápido. That might work. But how are we going to reach the cattails? We have to keep one foot on our carts. Maybe Hoppy the Unicroaker can help us. Hey, Hoppy, can you toss us some cattails? <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, when you're pushing, work together. Yeah, it really helps. We'll try. <laughs> it's working. Thanks for the help. Bye-bye. Now we better work together, too, if we want to pass them. Right. Vamonos. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Cassie, Emmy, is something wrong with your car? No, it's us. We can't pedal at the same speed at the same time. Hmm. I know a rhyme you could try. Uno, dos, tres, pedalear a la vez. It means one, two, three, pedal at the same time. I like it in Spanish. It rhymes better. Let's try it. How does the rhyme go again? Uno, dos, tres, pedalear a la vez. 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 The rhyme's really helping them work together, and that's helping them go faster. Gracias, Enrique. De nada. They may be going fast now, but we can go even faster. We win! Giant mushroom straight ahead! Let's go right! No, left! Now look what you did, Wheezy. Me? If you just listened to me, we wouldn't be in this mess. 
I'm the one who tried to warn you. Zack, Weezy, watch out! Whoa! Uno, dos, tres, pedalea a la vez. Uno, dos, tres, pedalea a la vez. Is everyone okay? No, oh, sure. I guess I'm okay. Okay. But it looks like the race is over for all of us. Maybe not. Maybe we can still keep going. <laughs> or not. We're all stuck together. We work together in all kinds of weather. We work together in all kinds of weather. And we don't have a wheel. I can fix that. And I can help? Claro que si. You know, maybe we can keep racing, even if we are stuck together. Yes, the rules say at least two riders, but more than two is allowed. We would be like a train. Then what are we waiting for? Let's choo-choo! And let's say the rhyme to help keep us going. What rhyme? It goes like this. Uno, dos, tres, pedalea a la vez. Uno, dos, tres, pedalea a la vez. Uno, dos, tres, pedalea a la vez. We're really moving! <laughs> Uno, dos, tres, pedalear a la vez. Uno, dos, tres, pedalear a la vez. Hmm, ¿qué es esto? What is this? I've never seen anything quite like it before. It's a long story. <laughs> and a long go-kart. <laughs> oh. I guess we didn't win, though. Well, I had a good time anyway. Yeah, and that pedaling rhyme really worked. We were all a team. I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to go back home until next time. Does anybody want to race? <laughs> Again? I'll race you, Max. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> We'll fix it. <laughs> I love going to Uncle Roberto's house. My favorite part was rolling in that big pile of leaves. <laughs> Looks like you brought one home, Max. Hmm? Hey, what are you doing with that? We'll keep this here to remind us of Uncle Roberto until the next time we visit. Great idea, Emmy. Look, Max, the dragons are calling us. Let's go! I wish, I wish with all my heart to the fly with dragons in a land apart. Emmy! <laughs> Too tight! Oops, sorry. Hi! Hello, everybody! Hey, what's all this stuff? We've been doing arts! And crafty wafties! Emmy, I need you a hair ribbon. A few more sparklies, and it'll be finished. It's beautiful, Cassie. Thank you. I made you something too, Max. Really? What? What is the word I would have used too? I call it a twirly whirly. Thanks, Ord. I think it's the best twirly whirly I've ever seen. Oh, it even makes a funny noise. That's not the twirly whirly, that's Ord's stomach. <laughs> Doing all these arts and crafts made me hungry. <laughs> Snack time! 
<laughs> Look! Rhyming birds! You can share my dragon coin. It's yum yum. Yum hum sum. It's a whole family of rhyming birds. There's a daddy bird and a mummy bird. And lots of little baby birds. Treat neat, sweet. I think he's saying thank you for the treat. You're welcome. Bye-bye, little rhyming birds. Bye-bye. Bye. Why? Hi! Why, hi to you, too. Look! Emmy has one of those baby rhyming birds! She really likes you, Emmy. Isn't she just a little cutie pie? Hey, that's a good name for you. Hi, my cutie pie. I don't think that little bird is supposed to be here, Emmy. She should be with her family. Where'd they go? Maybe we should go look for them. I'll stay here with Cutie Pie in case the others come back. Hey, wait up! I mean, hey, stay, play! Play! Day! Yay! <laughs> this is fun! Fun, sun, run! <gasps> I think the rhyming bird flew that away. Or was it this away? They're not over here. Not this way either. Nothing. Nada. Do you like the ribbon in my hair? Hair, wear, share. Share, pair, care. Emmy, we couldn't find the other rhyming birds anywhere. Then I guess Cutie Pie better stay with me. You mean, you want to keep Cutie Pie as a pet? Definitely. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's such a good idea, Abby. Where would she live and sleep? Max and I have a playroom. I can keep her in there. We're not allowed to have pets in the house, Emmy. Remember? That's right. I know. Birds like trees, so I'll take her to the tree house. Uh, mm. uh, well... Please. This little bird and I belong together. She's my little cutie pie. Okay. Yes. All right, I suppose. See? It's just perfect. Here's your new bed, cutie pie. Isn't that fluffy, wuffy, puffy? Puffy, ruffy, spuffy. Cutie Pie's looking for a way out. I guess she doesn't like the treehouse much. I bet she'd want to stay here if there were toys she liked. Max, may I borrow your twirly whirly? Okay. Look, Cutie Pie. Twirly, whirly, swirly. It doesn't seem like Cutie Pie's very happy being cooped up in here, Emmy. You're right. She doesn't even want to rhyme now. Oh! I guess Cutie Pie needed more room to fly. <sighs> How can I take care of her if she doesn't want to live in the treehouse? Maybe if I talk to Quetzal, he can help. Hola, niños. Hola, Quetzal! What a sweet baby rhyming bird. Her name is Cutie Pie. Emmy's been taking care of her since her family flew away. That's very nice of you, Emmy. Quetzal, um, I really want Cutie Pie to be my pet, but I can't take her home and she didn't want to stay in the treehouse. What should I do? I can tell you care about this bird very much. 
Oh, I do, I do. But if you keep Cutie Pie as a pet, she might not be able to see her family anymore. At least not as often. Right? I guess. I think that would make Cutie Pie very unhappy. But she'd be with me, and I'd give her lots of love and attention and... I know you would, Emmy. But how would you feel if you couldn't be with your family? Oh, Quetzal, I would be sad. I suppose... Mm-hmm. I suppose I should help Cutie Pie find her family. I know it would be hard for you to say goodbye to your little friend. This is very brave of you, Emmy. I'll go with you. Me too. We'll all go. You betcha. But how will we find them? We already looked once. This time of year, the rhyming birds fly south into very merry valley. I suspect that's where you will find them. You and Cutie Pie can ride with me, Emmy. Goodbye, niños. And good luck. Hey! There it is! Very, very valley straight ahead! Wow, this place really is very merry. Merry, prairie, very. Oh, a cheesy puff bush. No wonder the rhyming birds like it here. <laughs> We'll find your family soon. They're probably very close. Look, Cutie Pie wants to take a bath so she can be nice and clean for her family. For a little bird, she makes a big splash! <laughs> you so much, playing and making rhymes. We'll make up rhymes with you, Emmy. To remind you of Cutie Pie. We can even make some up right now. Really? You would? Would, should, could. I have one. Dragonberry. Dragon Fairy. Uh... And another Dragonberry. <laughs> Look! The ding -ling flowers are ringing! Ringing, dinging, singing! You don't have to yell! Uh, yell, bell, swell. Those are really great rhymes. Thanks, everyone. One fun run. That sounded like a rhyming bird. And it came from over there. Pie belongs with her family, but uh, makes me sad to say goodbye. I know. Huh? Well, what are you doing? Cutie Pie wants you to stay with her. Oh, Cutie Pie, I can't live here with you. I have my own family. Hey, Emmy, now that you know where the Ryman birds live, you can visit Cutie Pie in Very Merry Valley anytime. That's right! I can! I'll come back soon to visit. Why don't you keep my ribbon to help remember me? Bye, my pie. Pie! Sigh! Bye! Now you have something to take home to remind you of Cutie Pie, too. I wish, I wish to use this rhyme to go back home until next time. We'll go see Cutie Pie again real soon, Emmy. Promise. Thanks, Max. Until then, I'll put this feather right here to remind me of my friend. Friend, pretend, and...